What's up guys? Welcome back to another adventure on the bite. Man, it was a brisk, chilly morning. I'm up here solo today on the river. Asher's down in Mexico drinking tequila, hanging out with hot chicks or something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much freezing my butt off this morning. But just hooked up on the first fish, on a blue spinner of course. And uh, it's a real beauty. Really nice fish. So super stoked, got one to take home. And uh, today I think I'm gonna teach you guys a couple tactics to effectively fish spinners for steelhead. So don't go anywhere. I'm gonna try to teach you guys a couple things. So one of the most important aspects to, to spinner fishing or you know fishing in general is learning to read the water whenever i walk up to a spot whether i know the hole or not i'm going to map it out i could see in this hole in particular we got a boulder in the middle we got a heavy flow on the far end coming down to another big boulder and so i could see some nice chill water right in here with the spinner i'm just going to pick it apart you know i'll cast in the soft water first and bring it through or in the uh the pocket i'll cast into the soft pocket there and bring it through i'll throw it in the, the faster water fresh fish tend to hold in the faster current especially as soon as the season progresses more and more all the fish that are beginning to spawn and find their mates and find their little gravel beds they're going to spawn in um, they'll want to hold in slower current so if you want a nice chrome fish your best chance is to throw it in that fast current over there as the season progresses the fish will start transitioning into the slower water and want to be able to kind of hang in there more and not have the current. They don't want to be fighting the current the whole time. So they're going to find the path with the least resistance.
Beautiful fish. To me, there's two types of casts as far as spinners goes. And that's the upriver cast, where you're basically casting it upriver and you're drifting it through the lane, or the downriver cast, which is any cast straight out from you or downriver from you. Basically, that's gonna be what I like to call a flutter cast, which is gonna just, the current of the river is gonna pick it up and it's gonna flutter it through the back of the, uh, of the pocket. But as you guys can see, most of my casts are upriver. I find that majority of the fish that I hook up are from drift fishing the spinner. I want the lure to set up and be spinning before it reaches the pocket where I think the fish are. So it's a preemptive casting technique where you're, you're casting it up higher than where you intend to fish because you want the spinner to set up and start spinning and doing its thing before you get down in the pocket. So reading water is number one. Learning when the river is at a perfect height or when it is too low. And honestly, that just takes going there, guessing and checking. You know, you show up, you're like, wow, it's too high. Go back, see what level it's at, mark that down. You go there again, oh, it's too low, mark that down. You'll figure out what height is, is the primo or when the fish are really, you know, active. You don't wanna drive your two hours or three hours sometimes and show up to the river and the river's blown out or the river's so low and the water's so warm the fish aren't biting. Come on, guys. Another nice fish. Another nice fish. Is it a clipper? He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Come on, come on. Another clipper. It's my limit right there, boys. As long as he uh, keeps that spinner in his mouth. Come on. There, boys. Woo! Woo yeah! Fish number two. He is fully alive right now, so he's probably gonna go crazy. But there's my limit. Let me get the other one out here. There's my limit right there. Two nice hatchery fish both on spinners. Man, the spinner bite, you gotta love it. I just can't get away from it. I tried the bead, I tried the jig, but man, I just can't run away from the spinner bite when they're biting this good. Oh, I'm on cloud nine. I gotta tag this second fish here. And that is a wrap for me. I'll be heading to Florida next week to chase all kinds of crazy species over there. And uh, what a way to cap off this steelhead season right here, baby. Man, so stoked. That second fish, like, the first fish smashed it. It was just, it was on, I knew it was on. That second fish, you know, I'm popping it down, drifting it through the lane, and then I feel a small tug, so I set it, and he must have been coming with me because I kept feeling these small little tiny head shakes until I caught up with him and realized that uh, it was a nice hatchery fish. So, I'm going home with the bacon. Man, thank you, fish gods.